In this lab, we're going to determine the rate law for the reaction, that is the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. We're going to use the method of differential rates. So, to start, if we look at the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, we note that we start with hydrogen peroxide itself. It decomposes to form water and oxygen gas. Because gas is the product here, we can monitor the accumulation of the product using a pressure sensor. So we're gonna start with a flask with the hydrogen peroxide and we're going to add a catalyst. The catalyst is gonna be sodium iodide. Now the concentration of the catalyst is minute compared to the concentration of the hydrogen peroxide. Once we start the reaction, we will see the increase, which will be relatively linear initially. This increase in pressure, again, is due to the buildup of the oxygen gas. And during this portion, uh, we're gonna have a relatively linear increase because of the concentration of the hydrogen peroxide being so much greater than the concentration of the iodide, the catalyst, that uh, the increase is based solely on the concentration of the iodide. So once our initial rate is calculated, we can then apply the differential rates by taking the ratio of the first rate over the second rate, or sorry, the ratio of the second rate over the first rate, and H2O2 would be the concentration, um, whatever set concentration we start with, H2O21, this would be a different concentration. So when we run this trial twice with two different concentrations, we will produce two different lines and that will give us two different rates. And because the constant is going to be the same for both of these reactions, both of these are taking place at the same temperature, the constant drops out, which means we are now able to solve for the order of the hydrogen peroxide itself. Once we find this order, then we can go and write the actual rate law for the reaction. Okay, so we've got the pressure sensor connected to the lab quests. I've got my rubber stopper fitting on the hose. And I've got my flask at room temperature, so it's about 24 degrees right now. And I'm going to add the catalyst, then I'm going to insert the stopper, and I'm going to press start. I know the change doesn't look like it's, uh, the line doesn't look like it's changing very much, but you gotta remember that we are zoomed really far out. And so the incremental changes uh, will become much more significant once we zoom in on the scale of the y-axis, which we'll do once the reaction is complete. We're gonna let this go for a little bit. That's well beyond 90 seconds. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so for we have a relatively 
relatively linear plot here. So we're going to take the slope of this and we're going to record that and use that as our initial rate of our first trial. Uh, all right, so to determine the rate, let's just click and drag across. Oops. Go to analyze. Let's take a curve fit. And we're gonna use the linear fit here. So we're gonna record the slope, the M value for trial one, which was 0 0.022761. All right, so this is trial two. And I have my solution, which is half the concentration of the previous. So the original concentration was 0.884 molar. This is 0.442. And I've got my catalyst and I've got my equipment all ready to go. So same process, add the catalyst, stopper, press start. All right, so that's nearly the equivalent amount of time as the first trial. Let me go ahead and stop this. All right, so let's get the slope of this line. And we record this. This is trial two. 0.01122 and we hit OK and so now if we want to see both runs at the same time uh, they don't necessarily start at the same pressure I might have pushed harder on the stopper on the second trial than on the first uh, but that doesn't really matter what's important is the slopes and we have both of the slopes listed All right, so we're ready for trial three. And in trial three, our sample has been sitting in a cold water bath and its temperature is about 11 degrees, which is about half of that when we started. So same process, we're going to add the catalysts, stop her up.
And that's about the same time as the others. So we're gonna go ahead and stop that there. Okay. So let's get the slope. Point oh one four eight three five. Okay.